Today we'll find out if Jodhpur is the real dessert capital of India. Hi, if you're new, I'm Kylie, just another army vet, and today I'm reacting to another the best ever food review show with Sunnyside. This is Sweet Indian Street Food Tour in North India, India's dessert capital. And as always, if you are enjoying this video, I would really appreciate a like and a sub. Let's get to it. I'm such a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Are you gonna have to exercise twice as much tomorrow? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Looks like funnel cake. Jodhpur. I'm not sure where that is. I'm thinking it might be in Northeast India, maybe in Rajasthan. If someone wants to clarify, thank you. When it comes to Indian cuisine, there's one type of food that absolutely cannot be overlooked. Dessert. And here, they do dessert unlike any place I've seen before. Oh man, so, this whole thing is just full of sugary yeah, syrup. This, this is, is like my kind of hot tub right here. Yeah. Every region in India does dessert a little differently. But in Jodhpur, there's no doubt that they love their dairy. Anywhere they can put milk yeah. in a recipe, they will. Today we'll be checking out some super simple classic street food sweets. He's making this gigantic one for us, yeah. record-breaking jelly bean. All the way to some crazy, complex dessert preparations you've never seen before. Wow, that is very late. Labor intensive. Wow. I'll come My guess is that cardamom is going to be a big ingredient in a lot of these foods. Come across ingredients that I've never even heard of. This is gold. And there will be plenty of mm. balls too. Shaved as ladu as ball. Mm. Get ready to satisfy your sweet tooth. Today we'll find out if Jodhpur is the real dessert capital of is India. That silver? These look too pretty to even eat. Jodhpur native, fashion blogger, and food lover, Archana, is gonna be my guide today. She's done a bit of modeling, too. I do a bit of modeling. Do you know, like, when people do a before and after yeah. photos? I'll just do the before photo. I'm only about an after one. <laughs> Where are we right now? It's yeah. Clark Tower Market. I see a bunch of tourists, and a lot of people carrying stuff on their head. I really like that. What is Jodhpur bringing to dessert in India? It's basically the mixture of saffron and mama. Mm. What is mama? Milk solid. Okay. It's like boiling boiled milk and it turned into mava, a paste sort of thing. Are we going to try that today? Yeah, sure. Mava, awesome. Sri Mishralal Hotel is a landmark in Jodhpur Central Market. Oh, and it's not even a hotel. This place, is it more famous for desserts or for being a hotel? Obviously desserts. It says hotel right here. For the last 90 years, this place has been crafting the perfect dessert menu. What are we here for? We are going to eat rabri. It's boiled milk. After getting the boiled milk a bit heavy, they add sugar onto it. Okay, let's dish it up. This rabdi is made mm. with milk that's been boiled until becoming thick. This is called mawa in Hindi. Sugar is added for sweetness with a splash of rose water mixed with cardamom on top. Look at this! Essentially dehydrated milk with sugar. So it's like very rich, creamy, and then chunky. Take a nice big bite. That kind of reminds me of a mixture of Greek yogurt or cottage cheese with some tapioca maybe. I don't know. It looks interesting though. You like it? Mm -hmm. Definitely unusual. The milky consistency, it's a little like cottage cheese, but sweet. Mm. The flavor, it's creamy, sweet. It almost tastes like a little bit of honey. But there's no honey But in there's it. no honey. Bottoms up. I would try that. We're just getting started. With so many sweets available, this place has a huge kitchen prep area. And we're getting a behind the scenes look at what they're making next. So does this also function as a hotel or is hotel just part of the name? We have come to the preparation rooms at this hotel. Again, it's uh, not a real hotel. But if it was, this is the room I would stay in. What is this called? Mishilal <laughs> Pere. Have I mentioned that Jodhpur loves dairy? Here they start with mawa, then add a slew of ingredients, including sugar and saffron, which gives it its vibrant yellow color. This cooks in a wok until it becomes the paste you see now. This is my offering to your team. What do you think? Yes? Thank you. Once the ball is formed, it gets a literal stamp of approval. It's beautiful. <laughs> Essentially, they've kind of stamped it here. So what does that say in Hindi exactly? Do you think we could like all eat one together? Guys, could you please join me in eating one of these for my show? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm? So in the United States, there are certain regulations and laws that stores and restaurants actually have to follow. 
And one of those rules is that you have to have a head covering if you're in a food prep area. And even if you have a beard, you have to have a covering for that as well. Now, are there any such laws or regulations like that anywhere in India? Mmm, it's very thick, almost like Play-Doh, like a softer Play-Doh. A ton of saffron flavor coming through. And to get it so fresh, right from the ballers themselves. Gentlemen, thank you so much. First of all, be careful crossing the street. Where are we headed right now? We're going to Moto Jalebi. I know Jalebi. It's like one of my favorite desserts. Oh, it's like a giant funnel cake. That's magical. Oh, it's wow. just basic flour, batter, sugar. Is there something special about this place? This is 110 years old. He's the third generation. Yeah, and there's a line. Wow, this place is popular. Hi there. How are you doing? Whoa, what is happening over here? It's oh, that's for me? Yeah. Whoa, he's making this gigantic one for us. Yeah. Record-breaking jelly bean. Oh, so right here, he's taking it out of the oil. He puts it in the sugar. He kind of keeps it submerged for a little bit. Whoa. So he had it frying in the oil, and then he put it into some boiling sugar. Is that what he did? That one is nuts. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Look at that. Huge jelly bean, the biggest he makes possibly. And we're gonna try to break some of it off. Oh, it's very brittle. I've never had it this way. It's so thin. You ready to just try it out? Let's go for it. So this reminds me of funnel cake, but this seems like it would be more crunchy or sticky even, the kind of food that might get stuck on your teeth. Whereas funnel cake is just fried dough with usually powdered sugar on it. Oh, it's so toasty, crunchy. When you take a bite, the sugar gushes out of it. That is just straight guilty pleasure. I'm such a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Looks Are you good, gonna have though. to exercise twice as much tomorrow? <laughs> I guess yes. Me too. <laughs> he looks so proud. Next, we're headed to one of the most iconic confectionaries, perhaps in all of India. Jodhpur Sweets, with a reputation so strong that copycat shops with the same name have sprung up all over the place. It's that good. When you So the key is that if you visit this city, you have to find the right one. Come in here, you've got a sweet tooth, okay. Yeah. Your boyfriend just broke up with you. You're sad. You're gonna eat away your loneliness. Okay. What do you come in here and try? <laughs> Over here. See, I got a real honest answer. The kaju cutli will mend our broken hearts. That's Super so sweet, made with a ton of crushed cashews. You're saying this is so sweet, so delicious, it can yeah. cure any loneliness or heartbreak. All right, cheers. Oh. You like it? Mm hmm. It tastes like dried fruit mixed with um, molasses, maybe? Yes. And that's been a long tradition in India, yes. having the silver on top. With so much to choose from, Archana recommends some of the most unique treats offered here. What is that? Rose? It's a rose badam laddu. This is basically... 1,200 rupees? That's expensive for India. But considering just how high quality this food is, I can understand why the prices might be a little higher. An almond sweet. Is it actually rose flavored? Yes. With I'm roses? Say India is the only place I've been to where they season desserts with flowers. Yeah. Which other one do you think? Uh, Rabri Lattu. This is the famous sweet of Jodhpur. It's like my great great grandfather's time. Classic. Yeah. Okay, let's try some of the old and some of the new. Oh, beautiful presentation. Oh, okay, I think we start with the classic and then we'll work our way up to this rose one. Though these balls look somewhat similar, their preparation couldn't be more different. Ladu means ball. And the robbery ladu starts with a mawa gram flour batter that's then strained through this skimmer spoon, creating tiny fried little balls. Those get tossed into a sweet syrup, saffron, and cardamom blend. Finally, they add cardamom powder, yep. rose petals, fresh ones, almonds, and press them into the balls you see here. Now to you, is this a one biter? No. Two biter? Yeah. Are you ready? Cheers. Whoa, that is so rich, so sugary, kind of crumbly, ton of saffron in here. Oh, it feels luxurious. Is this what kings would eat back in the day? <laughs> yes. I feel like a king as I eat this. Mmm. <laughs> Oh. The rose badam ladu has a very different preparation. Starting with the dough made of saturated and blended almonds and sugar. That's right, Ooh. this big ball of paste consists mainly of almonds. Then they pile on roasted almonds and rose syrup. Mix it up, ball it up, then even more rose syrup and actual dry rose petals. 
rose syrup. Is that kind of like chocolate or strawberry syrup only made with roses? Finally, it's garnished with pistachio flakes and ready to eat, which is my favorite part. Does the ladu mean ball? Yeah. Do people ever say like, you don't have the ladus to mess with me? Does anyone say that? Like, no. that guy's got no, quite a set of ladus. <laughs> and it's shaved as ladu, see, it's ball. Mm. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, one bite? Mm. Why want to show them this? <laughs> oh, very sweet, obviously. It's kind of similar texture, but it has some crunch in there with the nut. But man, rose flavoring, that is out there. It has yeah. really perfumey kind of aroma to it that you taste up in your nose. Are you still working on that? Yeah. <laughs> Delicious, I love it. But that's not why we came here, is it? We're here for a super secret dessert. But first, the owner is showing me how all this sweets making is possible. Every floor above their main room where they're serving the dessert is just full of pots and pans and cooking, different things going on. Look at this place. How many people are working here creating all this food? Around 80 to 100 people. Whoa. It's yeah, not yeah. so it's obvious like, downstairs, but then you come up the elevator uh, and you just see there's so many tasks to be done. Now here they are making uh, rosgula. Here they are making uh, mawa. The milk. So this whole oh. machine, they put normal milk in here. Yeah. When it's solid enough, you just dump it into here. Yeah. I would love to try it. This is a kind of common ingredient here, mawa, yeah. right? You oh. eat it with a hand, you get a better taste. It's very hot. It is. It is very hot. It's kind of sticky. There it is. I can't hold it too long because it's burning my hand. You try it together? Let's do it. Wow, it is like the curd part of cottage cheese with sugar added. So it's a little sticky as you chew yeah. it. This is sweet, something that goes around with all the people. It almost sounds like a rice pudding, kind of. We or tapioca. <laughs> it's really hot. That is delicious. Wow, thank you very much. We came here for one of the most unique desserts in all of India. It's called Pista Pangalori. With a thousand rupees, wow. Now that's definitely more like an American price right there. With some ingredients I've never met before. What is this one? It looks like caramelized onions. No, it's not, it's rose mom. Look at this, that's so nuts. It's it rose? looks like they've caramelized them. Maybe there's some sugar mixed in there with them. Yeah. Before we cook it, we're gonna- So that's boiled rose petals and sugar? Is that what that is? Hmm. I just sample it a little bit. Get the flavor of oh, very perfumey. That is a very interesting ingredient. One of the most complex but satisfying sweets I've ever discovered. You can't appreciate wow. this food without understanding what goes into it. First, they need to make the pan or green portion of the dessert. It starts with cashews and pistachios, pistachios that have been soaked in water, then ground into a paste. Then they prepare the wok. I think it becomes kind of a syrup, huh? Yeah, it's a sugar syrup. Oh, I guess I did learn a thing or two in food college. Hmm. Then they add ghee and the ground nut paste. Pistachio powder brings out more pistachio flavor, and eventually the whole concoction becomes a vibrant green paste. Oh, that is a beautiful shade of green. While that cools down, we make the masala, or the red part. Rose petals, pistachios, roasted almonds, mishri, or sugar crystals, poppy Ooh. seeds, and their own luxurious pan chutney. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on here? This is gold. It's pan not chutney. gold, it's what silver leaves, and it's mixed with sugar syrup and saffron. All right. Saffron. My wish did not come true. After it's mixed and settles for an hour, it looks like this. How many kilograms of desserts have you secretly just all? Is that they have to taste the sweet before selling it. Hey, <laughs> I feel that. Now, the assembly. Flatten the green pistachio paste and cut it into squares. Each piece is shaped into a small cone, then stuffed with our beautiful masala. Silver is carefully wrapped around the pot. Then the final touch, made with a saffron and rose water mixture. He's giving like a little bindi to it. Yeah. Uh, Wait, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that is. Nice. So this is a very high-end shop. So my question is, is this shop more for tourists or would you actually get some locals actually coming here and enjoying these treats? All right, so we're all going to try it out, right? With you guys too? How do you say cheers? Cheers. Oh, okay, great. Cheers. cheers. Thank you so much. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. When I had this alone, way too powerful. It's very intense. With this kind of wonderful chewy sheet of pistachio, with that nuttiness balances out the perfuminess so much. Yeah. It's a perfect blend, so good. I could even just eat this too. Whether it's complex or <laughs> super simple, India knows how to take desserts to a whole new level.
I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Such a treat to have you by my side this whole day explaining all this amazing cuisine to me. For you guys, you can check out Artina on Instagram. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. So I just had lunch. And after watching that video, I am still hungry. Those foods just looked amazing. In that last one that we saw, that looked too beautiful to even eat. But I would love to actually try a food like that because I've never actually had a food that had silver or gold in it. So I would like to actually try that. So one thing I've noticed about Indian cuisine is that I think it relies heavily on two things. One, fresh ingredients and two, flavor combination. I think those two things are the heart of all Indian food. Now, if you were in a sweet shop in the US, what you'd find mostly is chocolate-based things or gummy-based things. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do want to watch another video just like this, I want for you right here. If you do want to help support the channel, I can always do the like, sub, share, comment, or thanks.